Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm back. Hello, 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 and welcome back to VLR. It's a beautiful game, it's a beautiful day, and we have quite a lot to catch up on. Last time on VLR, so much shit happened. We, uh, God, what even happened? We escaped, we entered and escaped the security room, which is always great. We, we, by we, I mean Fi. Fi found recordings of presumably Luna's death. So that's always fun. Uh, and we were able to basically track who left and entered the room during the time that was slated that Luna was dead. Uh, we left, we escaped. We tried to look for people. We found Clover and Temuji's bodies chained together under the sink in the infirmary. So that was fun. They had Clover's, nope, they had Quark's bracelet, which either means A, he's dead, or B, he's alive but has his bracelet off somehow. We are kind of hoping for the latter, but let's be honest, maybe they just didn't want to show a child corpse. <laughs> let's, let's put it like that. Uh, afterwards, we found Dio and Kay's bodies, which were um, a little worse for wear. Let's put it that way. Axe and Kay's back spear through Dio's body. We also found out that the luminol was sprayed on Dio's bracelet, making him possibly the killer of the old woman. Hello, Kagami. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh yeah, this was depression route. Uh, hello, Azura the Wise. Welcome, welcome. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, thank you to Black Dragon 9 z for the follow while I was not streaming. Thank you so much. Mwah. <laughs> oh, hi, welcome. Oh God, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, so Kay is dead. I'm so sorry, Kagami. Uh, a door was opened and uh, I was gonna end stream there, but we continued on and then we found a roadblock. We need a username and a password to unlock more information, which we do not have. And we were basically booted out of the route. So <clears throat> we did what? Yeah, so I was gonna end a stream and then I was convinced by Pagetown to extend it for a little bit longer. You may have already left at that time, Kagami. I'm so sorry, but yes, we did uh, because I realized that uh, after the fact, I was like, oh, this route actually stops very close to where I was ending off. So I would have started the next stream at that point. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, hello, Bra uh, hello Black Dragon 9Z. Uh, glad to see you in the chat. And again, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the family. Mwah. Yeah, of course, the VOD, you know where the VODs are. But let's not waste any more time, shall we? Because I've been chatting too much. So let's get right in <sighs> to VLR. Hello, Page Town. Hello, hello. All right. Save data nine. Let me just make sure I have this turned off. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. Shit. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking kidnapped. Whatever. <laughs> da, 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 da. Shattering glass. If I had a nickel for every time I've seen this cutscene. <laughs> I'd have five nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened five times. Yeah, 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 old man, fucking whatever. All right, let's get here. Okay. Uh, I say we have a choice, but in reality, we really don't. There's only one route we haven't really explored. So we're gonna be spending some time with Temi Oldie. <laughs> okay, fine, I will. Go through the yellow door with Temi Oji. I'm thinking we'll go through the yellow door with Temi Oji. You old men. The old. We got the white hair squad. Too bad Sigma is not a part of that. <laughs> uh, that sound good to you guys? Sure. Fine. Yeah. That means Dio and I will go with Alice. <gasps> oh, I don't know how I feel about that white hair rules. 
Cheers to that, Azura. Cheers. Sigma dye your hair and be a part of the squad. Shake my head. Yeah, Sigma. Shakes you. And we'll be going through the magenta door. All right, then. Better than getting stuck with that crusty old fart, I guess. Oh my god, Dio, shut up. <laughs> How is everyone? Also, in like 40 minutes, I gotta go to mobile because I'm going to farmer's market with grandma. Ooh, a farmer's market. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, I'll let the chat speak for them, but as for me, uh, I'm existing. <laughs> it's been a weird day, but I'm glad to be playing this game again, so it's getting better. <laughs> I hope you have a good time at the farmer's market, though. I love going to a farmer's market. So, Clover, Luna, and I will be going also, through the cyan door. I'm also existing. Felt that. Felt that. Uh, Clover... Luna. Oh, they're paired up with Alice. I thought they were paired up with Luna for some reason. Whoops. I don't get to go with Alice. Oh, I'm so sorry, Clover. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll try and stay out of the way. Oh, Luna. I don't really mind you, but the K guy seems really suspicious. Yeah. No, in this house, we appreciate K. Shut up, Clover. Shut up. Ooh. We're all meeting one another for the first time. Uh, better than I was after school yesterday. I was fighting some tears for no good reason. Sometimes the tears just want to come out and you're just like, please stop. The tears are not the moment. Terrible, I got a nine piece page piece of music on top of a six pager, a two pager and a three pager. Kagami, I have felt your fucking page before. Getting long ass sheet music is horrible and I hate it. I wish you the best of luck, but also pat shoulder, get used to it. <laughs> Aren't we equally suspicious? Uh, well, my orchestra music looks sort of like a chapter book for the repertoire. <laughs> and I cried over math. Yeah, it's just a bad day all around. Hey, I'm nothing like you. It's only down. It's only down this upward hill from there. Yeah, we're going down and then we're going back up. Exactly. Ten seconds remain until... Chromatic doors closed. Also, Clover, you are so suspicious for so many different reasons. I lost to Ipsy World that has spent hours making the reference to the underground build that I've been trying to build in survival. So I now gotta rebuild it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Page Town! Also, I got something to share from What a Sub at School instead yesterday. We don't go back up. We make a shovel in our bare hands and start digging. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven. We need to go. The doors are closing. There is no up. There's only even deeper down. Come on, guys. Move. Three, two, two one, one, zero. zero. Chromatic, Chromatic doors closing. All right. Well, we know which room this is, but we've not actually explored it like this. So I'm excited to see what they have to say. Da, 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 da. The infirmary. Ooh. Not creepy at all. No, totally not. So this is the... Infirmary? Sounds like it. Looks like it. Also, Nomer's breakfast for dinner. <gasps> breakfast for dinner. I love that. God, I could go for some like breakfast, like waffles for dinner. That sounds fun. This this room, I just realized, I just realized something. It's going to be very hard to look at this room after last stream. <laughs> after last stream. Oh, boy. <laughs> this room has so many different meanings now. Holy shit. Looks like it. That's what it said on the door, after all. So this creative writing, we got a sub, we got a sub on the first day. Topic of on people to write. On what some people write stories on. Google Docs, AO3, Wattpad came up. What he said, I can't remember the word around it. It was like 10 years ago when I was teaching creative writing, we used Wattpad to write it. Because it's actually resourceful. Now it's just smut fest. <laughs> As someone who started their fanfic journey on Wattpad, yes, he's right. <laughs> it is now just Smutfest. Egg sandwich, baking for me. 
made waffle batter for morning though, uh, for mornings throughout the week. Ooh, oh, that's a good that's a good breakfast, honestly. What the hell? Why is there an infirmary right next to a warehouse? You never know what injuries would happen, Sigma. Well, it's probably here if any of the workers get sick or hurt. Yeah, exactly. What workers? You. You're the worker, Sigma. Belgian waffles from scratch. Ah, oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> uh, did you see the size of that place? A little big to just be somebody's garage. <laughs> Actually, it's Zero's garage. He just keeps his cars in here. <laughs> then you're saying people work here? Maybe not now, but... I already know creative writing is going to be a fun class of role. I wish I took creative writing. I had a friend who did, and she loved it so much. Kind of jealous. Cinnamon and vanilla extract. I can get behind the vanilla extract. I can't fuck with that cinnamon. I can't. I I appreciate you for the secrets. And I love the vanilla extract. But that cinnamon, though. Judging from the lack of dust, someone was here until recently. Hmm. So people, it, like, it's been alluding that people live here. We don't know who. Presumably zero, but... It's amazing when we got funny teachers. Having a funny ass teacher is always great. Speech and debate is my favorite class. Also, it's been made without cinnamon. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take 15. Speech and debate, talking is just so much. I say that as <laughs> streaming on Twitch, but you know, tomato, tomato. Why not 30? 15. I like my food. You know what? Azura's right. I'll take 30 instead. <laughs> There's a door in the back. Think it'll open? No. No way. How can you be so sure? Just look at it. You see that thing next to the door? What's it say? It says, you are a dumb bitch, Sigma. I'm gonna need Fuck. more flour. Fuck. All right. Well, you know what that means. Sigma, don't try to fucking... Oh, my God. I think it's locked. You don't say. <laughs> Sigma, you fucking himbo. I swear to God. No dice. It's not moving. Really? You think this door was going to move, Sigma? Huh? Huh? Really? Bonk's head. Are you blind? It says lock right there. He is blind, apparently. He's also stupid, so we have to remember that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I just thought, you know, maybe I could force it open. Right. Let's have a look around, okay? Sigma, one of these days you're gonna break the door, break the door lock, and you're stuck and die. <laughs> yeah, Sigma, Karma's gonna catch up to you one day. Yeah, good idea. Maybe there's one of those card keys around here somewhere. Hopefully. Uh, then let's get started. <gasps> Sigma, way out! Yeah! Uh, cracked knuckles. Time to fail at all these puzzles, y'all. Ooh! Oh, this music is good. Don't worry, they have an AED there. They'll be fine. Hmm. <laughs> no food, though. They'll just have to eat the AED. Metal coin-like thing. What the fuck? Take your way out with three people. It's been too Oh my god, you're right. It has been a long-ass time. <laughs> What's this? A coin? Never seen a coin with a bump like that one before. I uh, think maybe it's part of something else. Uh, the bump might plug into something or we'll hook in a notch. Well, you have a good- I don't know why I gave him that voice. I was talking about it earlier because I knew this rat was coming up. And I was trying to debate what voice I was going to give him. Oh no, we have a scalpeler. We have a scalpel. That voice is so silly. Hmm, I'm going to work on it. It's workshop. Oh no, yeah, that's dangerous. What do we have here? Oh! We have Coke. Okay, maybe it's not Coke, but it is something else. This thing is full of medicine. None of them have labels though. I don't have any idea what's in them. Maybe we should just pick some and take them? Sigma, are you dumb? No, it's dangerous to mess with medicine you don't understand. This is serious, serious. Stabby, stabby. So we'll be, uh, we'll be committing a medicine Sigma, I'm going to rip your goddamn head off. 
dangerous in a zero escape game. Preposterous. Sadly, Sigma. Sadly, Sigma's jokes was critically trepanned. Not very generous with other people, are you? No, no, not at all. Um. Oh, that looks like a puzzle. Fuck, hold on. I fucking. Oh, do I have room on this notepad? Uh, I, I, sure, let's go with that. So music intensifies. Here's the key in your head. Use the scaffold to get it out. Time is ticking. Oh no! The game has taken a turn for the worst. Uh, okay. What do we have here? We have. Uh, do I need to be counting these? Is that what I'm doing? Shit. So yellow. I'm just writing yell. Yell five. Green. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Blech. Suck a blech. Uh, there's three of them, and then there are two reds. So many greens, and for what? Five is not generous to anyone unless it's the person a small kid with a silly hat who's named after a particle. It's fair. Oh my god, the sink. Oh my god. Water? Yay, we got water. Oh my god! <laughs> you fucking asshole. There's dehydrogen monoxide coming out of the faucet. Can't you just call it water like a normal person? Hey! Sigma actually knew that! Okay, turn it off. Uh, a mirror. Close enough to water. I can't see anything in it. It's too dirty. What a shame you can't look at your reflection. Uh, ooh, what's that? Hello? Hello? A pardon. Metal steak. Oh, is this a part of a key? Aha! I'm a genius. Also, that looks suspicious as fuck. You like that sink, right? I think you do, Sydney. Hey, old guy, do you remember the sink? You like that sink, right? I think you do, Tinmi OG. <laughs> You like that sink, don't you, Tenmi OG? <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god. English is hard. A piece of fabric has been sewn into the sheet. I think the scalpel might do the trick here. Yeah, cut that shit out. Dirty fabric. Alright. Oh my god. Can I not turn that way? Alright, fine. Turn it all the way around. Uh, what's this? It's a notebook. Maybe there's something important in there? No, I flipped through it earlier. All the pages are blank. Huh. That fucking sucks. Um, This is a pretty big screen. It's not showing anything, though. There are some arrows down here. Like gum. Click the arrow. There's a slot on the side of the screen. Uh, you think maybe something goes in here? I saw something like that in the AB room. Uh, wasn't quite the same size, though. So you think this is a card reader? Yeah, I think that'd be my guess. Ooh, a card reader. Okay. Where the fuck are we going to get a card? What the heck is this? Sigma, do you not know what an AED is? It says AED. It's an AED, just like it says. Okay, what's an AED? God, Sigma, your himbo is showing. It stands for Adult Erotic Doctor. <laughs> Hate it. Hate it so much. I'm kidding. It stands for Automated External Defibrillator. You use it to try and restart somebody's heart if they go into cardiac arrest. It uses, electri ooh, uses electricity. Hmm. We could shock our way out of here. Perfect. Do you think we could take it out? Probably, but what good is it to you? What good is it going to do to you? If your heart stops, sure, it might be useful, but right now, I don't think so. It is good to know that we have it here. Um, here's the atom. There's nothing on the screen. That's because it isn't turned on. Oh, turn it on? This looks like a power button. Try pushing it. Why do I have to push it? Well, it might be a trap or something. Yeah, sacrifice Temioji. Or, nope, sacrifice Sigma, I see. That's the answer to every one of your questions. That makes me want to, that makes me want to push it even less. Fine. 
I'll push it then. Heart stops, bracelet off. Got the heart working again. Bomb, no more bracelet. <gasps> Page John, you're so right. We just gotta stop our hearts somehow. Quick, go to a good cardiac arrest. No, I... <laughs> no, I'll do it. Ah, fine. I'll just need to push it, right? Please do. A trap sounds like a good idea to put in the doctor's office. Yeah, you know, every doctor's office is laid with at least seven traps. If you can find them, they give you a piece of... Nope. Uh, if you find them, you get a lollipop. Mm. Please do. Ugh. Uh -huh. mm. The screen is white. The screen is white. Oh my god, really? I would have never guessed. A handheld scanner. Okay, now I got the power on. We just, what are we supposed to scan? How about the square hole in the sheet? The part that's been cut out? Sure, why not? What you need to do is reach into your chest and grab your heart so it stops pulsing and the bracelet comes off and then you let go. Easy. I thought that was great. <laughs> really? I thought this was a sartreuse. Look at the bed sheet, yada, yada, yada. Oh, shit. Check. Fuck. Well. Huh. This seems weird. See, when I scan part of the bed, a letter shows up here. There's probably a bunch of metal plates or something in the mattress. You think the scanner's just reading the letters carved into them? Maybe. My point is that you're not going to get anywhere with that. You need clues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we put this on here? What about here? A pillow. A pillow. Thank you, Sigma. You're always so smart. A hospital bed. A square has been cut out of the sheet. Hold on. You're planning to put that nasty sheet on the bed? Well, yeah. I mean, it looks like the right size and everything. Hmm, yeah, that's true, I guess. But don't you think we should look at it more first? I just feel like we're not going to do just putting it... Ugh. It's not going to do much to try and put them together right now. Okay, game. I see you're trying to give me a hint. What's up? What the hell? This thing is filthy. It looks like something's been written onto it, but we can't read it like this. What? Oh, are we supposed to wash it? That's what we're supposed to do. Oh, and there seems to be... There's no handle, so I'm guessing those buttons are how we get it open. The thing over here looks like, uh, the thing over each one of them looks like some kind of counter. So that means, all right, let's give it a shot. Uh, yellow is five, blue is three. What do you mean? What do you mean it's a failure? Huh, well, damn, I don't get it. Uh, there are little icons that look like the types of medicines on the buttons, right? A blue capsule, a yellow powder, and a red liquid. Have you seen those anywhere before? Hmm. Well, I know it's related to this, but... Look at those blocks. Uh, the cover's gonna keep us from grabbing them, though. There are three empty spots. Five times five minus three is 22 blocks. By the way, I gotta leave it at seven, my time, for a cello lesson. Oh, no! Just so you're aware, and don't miss me. I'm sorry, am I simping for K too much? It's okay, we'll simp for, uh, for K for you. <laughs> but you'll be missed. Good luck with your cello lessons. I can see four different icons. There are these blue capsules, yellow powders, a red liquid, and the green tablet. Hey, check this out. There's a couple of keyholes in the bottom corners. I'm not sure what this thing is, but I'm guessing we need to lock these keyholes before we can get much out of it. Is this what the key is for then? Uh, it doesn't look like the key will fit. There's another keyhole, though. Maybe it goes there. Aha! Well, that one uneasy enough. Alright, we need two keys. Um... Can we combine the powder? We cannot combine these items. Shit. Turn it on. On my research paper, I haven't been working on it. Oh no! Oh no! Kagami! Are you planning on washing the sheet with water? Yeah. I don't know. That looks like a pretty stubborn stain. I don't think the water is going to cut it. Well, we won't know unless we try. 
Damn. Uh, I guess it's not going to be that easy after all. Told you so. Okay, uh, what about... There's water coming out of the faucet, filling up the sink. Maybe the drain isn't very good. Okay. God, I'm so fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. I'm missing something, and it's probably very obvious. Is it one of the pillows? Those who had to cover the same material as the rest of the bed. Isn't that normal? Yeah, I guess, Chamyoji. God. Can we cut? No, we don't have the scalpel. Man, I feel so sleepy all of a sudden. This is no time to be slacking off. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking Fi, swear to God. Shake's fist. Um, what are these? What's this? It says Tipperkurian on the label. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. There's Tipperkurian here. That's not great. Tipperkurian? Isn't that. Yeah. The muscle relaxant in our bracelets. I don't think we're supposed to be doing research as you. Sounds delicious. Eat some. No, you're gonna die! I don't think you're supposed to be doing research as you go when making comparison, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. Please don't eat the turbocurian. It's bad for your health. <laughs> There's a bunch of medicines here. Not eat, drink. <laughs> don't drink it either. I've never heard of any of these names. Okay. What am I missing? Oh, 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 aha. Oh my God. Down the hatch. <laughs> This is the laser gun, isn't it? Oh my god, Sigma. Sigma, you were so fucking dumb. I love you. No, it's an injection gun. Pretty much what it says in the tin. It's a gun-shaped thing that gives injections. Should we take it with us? Nah. It'll just ignite the fires of war. Besides, all it's got some all it's got in it is some saline solution. You can inject someone with it if you want, but it won't do anything. I will drink it too. Stop! Kagami, Azura, no! Worn out key. Finally, we found the other key. Lock. Awesome, I unlocked it. Whoa, what the hell just happened? The whole thing just moved out of the wall a couple of inches. Can you pull it out? What do you mean, pull it out? Oh, just pull it out. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it looks like you can pull out the case. Well, let's have a look at it then. Sure. Oh no. Why make it gun shaped? Why, like, why, why must we gun? I'm not complaining, I love gun, but like. Saline, isn't that just another soap? Is it? Saline solution, that might be. I think. Well, I can't be the only one not drinking. <laughs> You can move three blocks, uh, you can move the three blocks up and down as well as dragging them by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. What in the world? Aha, I see. Okay. off the game. Whoops. Um, maybe if I use the arrow keys, that might actually be easier. I just started back from the beginning, didn't I? Fuck! <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Um... Oh my god. 
Oh my god, that was the beginning. Shit. Okay. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Let's try... these puzzles. I hate it here. Fucking hate it here. It's a box puzzle, but it's worse because it's three. Ah! Oh my god. Wait, no, I think I got this wrong again. Scream. I'm gonna scream. Go up, baby! Yay, mobile time. Woo! Voice only! <laughs> you won't have to watch me struggle with this goddamn puzzle for any much longer. Oh, God. Hate box puzzles. Fucking hate them. Hate them so much! Ah! <laughs> Gonna cry. Gonna cry. Let's try... I feel like I'm close, but I'm just... It's funny. <laughs> but just means only on and over now. Yippee! You won't have to watch me freaking struggle at this puzzle for three hours. <laughs> at this rate, it feels like it's going to take that long. Okay, let's see. You reach here a lot of time. Now watch this advertisement for five. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh God, I have it backwards again. What am I doing wrong? I'm shaking the box, please. Okay. Sigma, shut up. I don't want to hear it from you, Sigma. That was not easy. I guess that was a passable performance. Good work. Why do I get the feeling your heart wasn't in all of that? Hey, did you guys see this? Even those blocks seem to fill the empty spaces in the front. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the actual password is... Uh, six... Six five two. That was hard work. When I don't get to wrath, you get it. <laughs> Maybe that was the problem. You watching, Paige Chan, that was the problem. The moment you got uh voice only, I got it immediately. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's see. What is what is the buzzword? Five six two. Ah, thank god. Why do you have the feeling you played the chaotic Nancy Drew games? You'd be crying tears of pain and laughing at it. I've actually watched people play those games. Holy shit, I would not be able to do that. Those games look 
I'm I my brain cells do not collide like that. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, open sesame. <laughs> well done, Sigma. There's something in here. What? A note and colored numbers on it. Great. Haha, <laughs> this is useless to me. Oh. What the fuck? I need 200 IQ to understand Nancy Drew. You're so right. What is this? What the fuck? Three. We're gonna this down. Three, one, two. Okay. The fuck? Ooh. Nope, worth a try. What are you doing? We saw that one already. Yeah, I know. Shut up, Fi. Oh, shit. Ah, well, I don't need that. Uh-ha! We found a thing! You need 200, 200 IQ to understand Nancy Drew. Only a hundred, only 501, no, only 50 IQ. Ugh. English is hard, y'all. Reading is hard. Speaking is hard. It's hard. <laughs> only 50 IQ to enjoy it. You know what? That's all I need. Too bad I only have 27. There's a memory card on here. Haha, -ha, we got a memory card. And a scrap paper. What's this drawing supposed to be? All right, another archive drawing. A and B to get the stain out. All right, we got A. What the fuck is B? Um. Oh wait, is there a drawer here? A desk. It seems pretty normal. Very desky. Ah uh, yes, the floor is made of floor. Let's see, this looks like I'm slot for a memory card. I think we're supposed to put a memory card in here. Dry it out. Come on, you don't have to tell me what to do. I know what's up. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, A is white powder and medicine bottle, and B is water. Thanks, genius. Oh, wait, but we gotta put it in here. Oh. No, don't put the memory card into the memory card slot. Yeah, why would someone do that? I've got a jar, and in the basin you go. Aha, I've got the emu jar now. You know what that means. It's time to hydrate or dehydrate, bitch. Drink your fucking water. <sighs> Gonna get some water with the emu jar, huh? Yeah, pretty clever, right? I need some water then, BRB. Get your water. I don't know if I'd call that clever. I think a three-year-old could come up with that plan. Fine, shut up. <laughs> shut up. It didn't take me that long. Ugh. Just do it. I'm going to fill this research paper. I'm putting this straight into my fat <laughs> Sometimes teachers enjoy that, where they're just like fudging it as you go. Fine. The water. Back to the barn yard we go. All right, now I just need to pour the water in here. Hey, I've got bubbles. Bubbles. Ah! My ears fell out. I've retrieved an ear. I just soak the stained fabric in this. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, bitch. Bitch! Bitch! Ooh. We got something. We got something. All right, let's see. All right. Put the paper down. Hospital bed. A square has been cut out of the sheet. Interesting. You're gonna put the fabric we bleached into the hole on the bed. Yeah. It looks like it's exactly the right size. Give it a shot then. Will do. Ooh, it fits perfectly. Hospital bed. Piece of fabric I found earlier, yada, yada, yada. The 
in the bed sheet. Alright, let's see. So. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I forgot the colors. Uh, I think this was one, two, three. Awesome! Uh, looks like they did it. Huh, good work. Uh, the screen changed. Oh, also, I showed this kid my notes in school today, and he said they were beautiful. This guy cried over it, like literal tears. Hey, that must mean you have some pretty fucking neat notes. Like, come on. Alright, let's see what the green password is. Huh? Alright, they don't know on this timeline. Green. Not green. Actually, it's just green. That's all you get now. You were no longer green, you were just green. So you got moon, moon. And the thorn. They organized, but this isn't the gospel. <laughs> Wait a minute. You've seen it too? Yeah. There was something like this in the AB room. The symbols are all different though. I take it you two saw one? Yeah. We use a password like this to open the safe in our AB rooms. You ought to write that down. No, it's cool. I can remember it. God, Sigma. I would kill for your fucking memory. I would. Like, Sigma... We give Sigma a lot of shit on this channel, but if there's one thing Sigma knows how to do, it's remember shit. But you know what? Congrats to him, because I could not do that. You're going to memorize it? Sure, no sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. Fucking lucky bitch. No kidding. Uh, anything? This chair is probably for the doctor. Nothing suspicious about it, I guess. Chair with the back. Oh my god. Drawer. I can't get it open. It's probably locked. It doesn't have a handle either. Hmm? Oh. I've already solved this puzzle, but for some reason I feel like there's more going on here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, wondering what though? Five, six, maybe anything. What do you have in the inventory? Anything? Oh, uh, let's see. Nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> Pretty good. You mean able to remember literally anything and everything you ever see? It's got photographic memory. I actually remember this room, and I remember that this room was actually really tricky because what's obvious for the golden password, it's not obvious at all. So I think it has something to do with this. I think we're supposed to half the numbers rounding. Uh, maybe we're supposed to half the numbers. I'm not actually sure. Um. Trying to see if we've got anything that could help us. Because I do remember this one being tricky. But I'm actually not sure what the solution is. Oh my god, want to share it? Not particularly. No, get it on! Okay. The bed. It looks Spartan, but it's actually pretty comfortable. Under there? I'm trying to like duck down and look, but not in the game. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot I could do this. Anything? No. Huh. Is there anything in the notebook now? Blank notebook. Fuck. All right. Well, there goes that plan. 
Um, can I take the injection gun? No. Is there anything in the cabinets? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, because I cannot remember how I'm supposed to get this information. I know it's with this, but I'm like, where? Where am I supposed to get it? That's the real question. Maybe it's in the the partition. Oh wait, I don't have anything to fucking break it. Forgot. Um. Well, when all else fails, Sigma, Giga Memory, go. <laughs> Because I actually don't remember how you're supposed to get this information, and I wish I could remember. Because this is going to annoy me, but the answer to this second puzzle is 221. I wish I could tell you why. I know it's something to do with the mega panel, but it's very not obvious. <laughs> tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Uh, I wish I could. Nothing but a heartache. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a very dumb puzzle, and I remember I remember when I first watched people play this game, they had so much trouble with this room. Ain't nothing but a mist. <laughs> huh? Why'd the left door open? There's something in here. Aha! Aha! We have another paper. If I click on everything, maybe, just maybe, I will never be able to leave this room. Nope. Hospital bed. Square has been kind of out of the sheet. Let's just see this in here then. Oh, we got all. One, two, three, four. Found? What did you find? Well, I guess we found the right answer. So I did it? Nice, good job. Seems you figured it out. The screen's showing something different again. Da -na -na -na. Oop. Blech. Sucker blech. Bump, 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 bump. Sun, sun, stwa. It's different now. The symbols change, and they moved around. Well, it's probably related to the safe somehow. Can you remember the Sigma? Leave it to me. God. I am so jealous of Sigma's of Sigma's memory. Actually, would I want to remember everything? Um, maybe not. I take it back. <laughs> Saw the safe one. Sigma and Solon just don't like it. Do you think it opens the same way? Try it and find out. All right, start with the blue path wand. Gold. He has the gold. Ah. When your thesis is supposed to be one sentence, but yours is four. That just means it's giga loaded, you know? It's just so much info. They have to take it all. Awesome. It opened. Ah. Well done. Good work. Take the file. Right, this one to actually get the fuck out of here. And then, paza. We did it, yay! Oh, uh, looks like it opened with that other password too. Seems like it. There is a whole bunch of stuff in here. First we got a map. It says floor A. Yeah, we can take a closer look at it later. There is still more stuff in here. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next, we got a card. Two cards, actually. Got the key cards. These must open the AB rooms. See, they've got Ambidex room right on there. Yeah, you're probably right. And we can use these to open the AB rooms. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. 
we can't go back the way we came because but the door but that door's locked i think the answer to that is in the safe see read this note oh god i have to read this fucking note again here we go here are a few more rules for you once you have opened a door you can hop through it as much as you like Chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, I even I cannot keep you from going in and out of them. I love Sigma. No, I love Zero Junior. But goddamn, these bunny puns make me want to just crumple, <laughs> just crumple. Any color of bracelet go through them, and as many people as you like. But 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 but, you have to escape before you can take advantage of the free rain rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it warrant you let back uh, warrant let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. Interesting. So it's saying that once we get out of here, we'll be able to head back to the warehouse. Yeah. There's another piece of paper in here. Looks like a part of a newspaper. Oh shit! I forgot. This is the room. Why would someone put a newspaper in here? Ah ha ha ha! Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Holy shit. <laughs> Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. What the hell? What's Radical 6? Wait. Quarantine? Quarantina. Yeah, it's bad. No way. <laughs> Shh, we're not going to talk about it, but yeah, exactly, Azura. It was funny when I was started watching people play this game, this game, because uh, it was actually in 2020. So the certain quarantine that happened that year was very much on our minds. Bye, got anything to say? Emioji? Emioji? Look, we can talk about this later. Right now, we need to get out of here as, uh, as fast as we can. If I get a goddard and name your Quarantina after my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Quarantina is such a... What a great drag name, though. Quarantina. <laughs> Hate it. Hate it so much. But... Forget it. Just do what I tell you. Oh my god, fine, god. The last thing in here, the safe, is probably the key. So we can finally get out of here? She's nodding. Nods. Let's go. Just do what I say isn't any lead. Has it led to any bad choices? <laughs> no, not at all. Christine, Quarantina, Williams, or Rodriguez, or, <laughs> or whatever. I'm not taking someone's last name if it's <laughs> Christina Quarantina Cumberbatch is such a name, though. Holy shit. <laughs> the thing that keeps the door locked. It says lock. No shit, Sigma. Christ oh my god, why did I say Christina? Oh my god, Kristen. My- Y'all, I cannot read. I love the name Kristen, though. I do. It makes me think of... Uh, Kristen Bell. Christina? <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. That's the vibe. Okay. Yep. Three, two, one. Zero. You found it! I can call her Chris from Delta. <laughs> I can call her Chris from Delta and that's all I needed. You found it! Yay! Another elevator, huh? You found it, get shot. Uh, I just want to check something because I am... Nope. <laughs> Ha, that's the button. Okay. 
I always forget which control, which is this, uh, the fast forward uh, one. You think this actually works? I would hope so. Don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Uh oh. Now, great. Now we're getting. Sh Who is jingling? Luna, Clover, and Kay. With Dio, Quark, and Alice tagging along, looks like. Yay! Gasp. Girl, why are you running? Girl, why are you running? What's going on here? We bumped into them a little while ago. Marry me, Kay. I love jingle bells. Kay jingles every time he walks. He's like a circus clown. Who'd have thought we'd bump into you, too? Well, why do they sound like they had more than a run? Bonk's head. Stop the horny. Let me see the map. Oh, sure. Cannot, will not, and must not. <laughs> you mustn't. Yep, they all lead to the same area. This is the last time we have to see this cutscene, thank God. Ah, oh, I get it. All three routes ended up here. That map. It's just like the one we found in the crew quarters. Crew quarters? Oh, we found a map like that too. There was one in the lounge. The lounge. There's a lounge? Anyway, ours was the infirmary. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. Well... No. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. What am I missing, like, visually? Kind of overall, because not fully paying attention. We found it. We escaped after trials and tribulations. And we ran into the other one. Also, K jingles. He jingles. I think of the end of the week. I'll have a two-page... Page two of the research paper done. I do have cello in a few, so I'll put a pin in this. Oh well... Uh, good luck with your cello practice either way, though. And you'll work on that research paper. I know you'll get it. You've got this, Kagami. All right, well, let's all just cram ourselves into this elevator. I'm sure that'll work out well. Down we go. Bong. Bing, bang, bong. Sing, sing, song. What the? What? Oh, this is just like the other floor. These doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chromatic doors. Well, looks yada, like yada, we yada. Don't have a choice then. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip it all, but it's basically like, oh no, chromatic doors. Whatever we're gonna do. Suck it up, I guess. We gotta head back. Yep. Sigma, where's that note you found? Right. Oh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Jingle bell, jingle bell. Okay, is my husband. More doors? That's illegal. Well, Zero's going to jail for far more reasons than just more doors. Rivola <laughs> lad, who's very rad and adorable. I love him. Because them. if it did, we have one too. Yes, Kay, of course you do. We found ours in the crew quarters. Yeah, we got one of those. Found it in a safe in the lounge. Nice. I'm not reading this again. You can fuck off. That's not how we get him. Not the attempted murder, nor the doors. Tax evasion. That's how we get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free ran roll. Yada, yada, yada. You're supposed to sing it. It's a Jingle Bells character. All right, all right. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. K is my husband. He's a robot lad who is very rad and adorable at the same time. Hey! <laughs> it's perfect. 10 out of 10 cover. I don't know. I always like Jingle Bell Rock. Here's a hard opinion. Jingle Rock Bell. <laughs> Jingle Bell Rock is so much better than the regular Jingle Bells. And I will fight you on that. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Suck it up. Yeah, we have to go back. We must go back. Try again. No. You got my attempt out of me. I just look stupid now. No. No. Jingle bells, jingle bells, K is my husband. He's a robot lad who's very rad and adorable at the same time. Hey! <laughs> Perfect.
Perfect. <laughs> Third time's the charm. And now we have to die. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? Oh, right. You mean this? The Ambidex room key. Can't read right, but close enough. Hey, as we've learned, English is hard. <laughs> I'll stop torturing you. It's never torture. We're just all excited for Christmas, even though Halloween is still two months away. I guess it's now it's closer than that. Gotta go, cello waits. Good luck on your cello practice, Kagami. See you later. Mwah! That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Alrighty. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high. Huh? Oh my god, Dio, shut up. <laughs> you are on my shit list. You were on my shit list for last time. Don't even. If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. I'm never skipping this cutscene because I love that line so much. <sighs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. <laughs> well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. <sighs> That's what you get, Dio. Get put in your place, bitch. <laughs> Ladies, calm down. But fuck you, Dio. Yeah. Fuck you in particular, Dio. You know what you did. Bonk, bonk, bonk. The infirmary. This is the infirmary, then. Yep, yep. We were able to walk right in, just like the note said. That means you can come visit the lounge, too. You'd like it, Grandpa. There's lots of alcohol. They've even got some of your favorite. Ooh. Oh, well, that sounds great. Maybe I'll go have a drink later. Yeah. What the hell, man? How are you so damn calm? <laughs> Dio, I'm going to shove you into a corner. Don't even. Wait. Grandpa? Did Tamiyoji and Quirk know each other? Were they actually related? I was about to ask when something else caught my attention. Someone behind the divider was talking to someone else. I snuck a look around. Do you think there's a connection? Oh, this is a cutscene we haven't gotten yet. Hello? I can't be sure yet, but there's no way this is all just coincidence. Oh, Clover. God, that poor girl has been put through the fucking ringer. Yeah, there's even a zero. Girl, girl, I don't know what God pissed off, or I don't know what God you pissed off, but they are spiteful, and they keep putting you in the same situation, don't they? Whatever it is that's going on, we need to get in touch with headquarters and fast. Yeah, I agree. They probably figured out we're gone by now. Yeah. Do you think they'll find us? Let's hope so. Hmm. How are these two connected? Back through the doors into the warehouse. Seems fine. <gasps> oh, it's him. It's the lad. Oh, you're finally done. Yeah. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for yawning? Really? Okay, we've seen this cutscene before, so I'm gonna just like uh, skip over it for the most part because it's a lot of the same stuff. <gasps> oh. Okay, let's pause. That's a dead woman. That's a dead woman. Ooh, girl, that is a dead woman. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Interesting. So that does mean that out of the three... 
Oh my god, I hear Junior's voice. It's been so long. I know, I feel bad for skipping it, but we're gonna hear him later, so it'll be fine. So the old woman's here. She's dead, again. But that does mean that the only route, the only chromatic door that we can enter and not have found a dead woman is when we enter the yellow door with Alice. That must mean that something weird is happening in that route specifically to where the woman does not appear. I don't know what that means. I don't know how that means, but it does exist, which is strange. <laughs> guys, guys, get over here. We found someone. There's a, a lady over here. She's unconscious. Yeah, she's a little more than an unconscious, Sigma. I didn't wait for a response. I just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we can manage. All that greeted us was... Blood. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen to her at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement. Just cold skin. Oh my god. Jingling K. What are you yelling at? What's going on here? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Is she? Quark, look away. Quark, don't look. Somebody get Quark out of here. Uh, okay. Thank you, Luna. You're always a sweetheart. C come on, Quark. Yeah, let's get Quark away from the dead woman. Then she's... Yeah. She's not breathing, and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, and I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Yeah. I don't see a weapon around here, though. Well, we know where the weapon is, and we know... We're, we're pretty sure we know who who killed the woman, at least in the other route. We don't know if that's going to be the same here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're playing the accusation games again, Pardon? so I'm Let's just Let's get gonna... her to the infirmary. All right. She might be old, but she's still a woman. All right. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. All right. Come on, let's get her out. D.U.K. and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Timmy Oji only stared. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point. But it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring towards us. A smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized that Temuji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. And we know from the other routes that he knows who the woman is, somehow. I don't know how, we don't know why, but he does know for a reason. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored and his movements slow and shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Let's get through this again. Yeah, find out what the weapon is. We found Let's that suppose I am zero. What? Yeah, we know that K is suspicious. You know how we had to go vote. And we are voting against Timyoji, I think. Yeah. Basically, for those who haven't seen this scene before, because we've seen it before, TLDR, uh, everyone's throwing accusations. The room that the old woman was found in is supposedly the one that Clover and Kay were in, and which makes Kay extremely suspicious because Clover is... Or Clover was unconscious when they came out. 
I bought some stuff, not from the market, but waiting, waiting for it still. Yes, capitalism. <laughs> you have bought things for yourself. Congratulations. Oh, fuck. Always buy things for yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Yeah. So everyone's suspicious of K. We're going back to vote because someone has to vote and we're voting against Temioji this time. So that's going to be fun. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. What? Are you worried there's a ghost or something? Yeah. No. No, of course not. It's just... Does it bother you? Nope. I don't believe in ghosts. Oh my god. I feel bad that she died, of course. Oh, okay. At least you have some heart in you. But there's not really anything I can do about that, is there? No, I guess not. Damn. You're pretty cold, you know that? I prefer bold, but whatever. <laughs> bold is a choice. Those are some choice words. You just don't let emotions get in the way. You are a very logical person, aren't you? Well, until uh, push guns the shove, that is. That's pretty much the definition of cold. Anyway, let's go. All right. Looks like the others have already gone in. Fine. Hmm. Hmm, what? Uh, what is it? You found a ghost or something? No. Look at the screen. There's something there. The screen? I'm gonna extra aim and off again. Enter your vote, please touch the start button. Once you enter your vote, the door will all once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period has finished. A bonk. And there goes the door. Yep. <laughs> At least they're not surprised this time. Hooray! Everybody's finally here! Yay! Zero Junior! The best character in this game! I've been waiting. Yeah, we've been waiting for you, buddy. So have we. We've got some questions for you, Zero. Uh, who was that old woman? Oh. Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? Yeah, I saw that one coming. <laughs> all? The other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are, Siggy. Siggy! I know! I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but... Oh, I always forget about that. The rooms are soundproof. You gotta remember that when considering who killed the woman. B.O. is especially loud. Yeah, that sounds about right. For real, B.O., I need you to shut up. Thank you. Somebody said it. Make Dio shut up. There isn't much time. I gotta hurry and explain all this stuff or the game will end before I'm done. So, no more questions from now on. No answers for anybody, okay? You just have to wait. <laughs> Yay! Let me tell you about the AB game. Alright, they're gonna explain the rules again. For example, oh. Siggy and Fido paired up with Ten Mioldi and went through the yellow door, didn't they? Yep. That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Ten Mioldi. Ten Mioldi! And it goes the other way too. Ten Mioldi's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Hell yeah! Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Mooney. <laughs> I always forget about that nickname. Potassium. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Alas. Alas. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After nope. All? Yep, yep, yep. Ally and Betray. Okay, then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, there's a little bit more, but it'll just have to wait, I guess. <sighs> Holding out information, aren't you? After all, it's almost time! It's almost time! For an execution! No, wait, wrong game. <laughs> hey, wait! No! <laughs> yeah, put your foot down, Zero Junior. I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time! One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh, shit. 
You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later. Later, skater. Have a nice trauma. <laughs> okay. We don't have time to talk about this. No. Nope. Rock, paper, scissors. R rock, paper, scissors? We have to decide who's going to press the button. Uh, well, is that how we're doing it this time? Okay. And you think that's a good way to... Uh, and you think that's a good way to decide? Just shut up and do it. All right. One, two, three... Oh shit! Uh, 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 always go paper. Rock. Paper. Ah, looks like I won. Damn it. Ah ha ha! That's what you get. So what are you gonna pick? I guess ally. We're playing against Ten Miyoji. Do you have any reason to think he won't betray you? Um. I guess not. Yeah. If he does, what does that make our BP? Uh, would be down to, uh, one point each. But that's not hopeless. I mean, sure, we'll be a little farther away from the goal, but all we gotta do is earn those points back. And when will we do that? Okay, well, I don't actually know. But it's pretty obvious that we'll be playing this game more than once. After all, we can't get to 9 BP if we don't. Hey, Sigma's learning! Ten seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Ah, shit. All right. Well, we don't have much of a choice, do we? Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide. Ally or betray? That is the question, isn't it? Three, two, one. In that last moment before the counter reached zero, I made my choice. Uh, all ally, all the time, baby. That's what we're going for the first round for each of these. Your vote has been recorded. Please wait. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. <sighs> all right. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you. For your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. As Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others rushing towards projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Tamioji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? So you chose Ally, huh? Yeah. He hasn't really done anything to, like, anger us or say that he would betray us at right now. I mean, he's acting a little soddy, but uh, I think he's just shooken by the... shook by the woman. You don't get to complain. I won, remember? Not complaining. I just think you're being a little soft-hearted. Oh. No. Oh. Ah, uh, you worry too much. I'm sure Timmy Oji chose Ally too. I don't remember if his track record is very ally friendly, actually. I think he's actually been known to betray a lot. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have any facts, just misguided optimism. Oh my god. I mean, you're right, but. Yo! <gasps> what's up? Siggy! Siggy! I know! <laughs> oh, I love that voice line so much. Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. All right, all right, all right. Let's get over there. Let's go. We should have a look at these results. Fine. Let's get going. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Oh my god, we get it. We're slow. Let's get ready to rock! Come on, yeah! And the next game! Round one! Hell yeah, let's see. The results! I swear to god, Timmy OG, I swear to god. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Oh my god. Everyone's here. Uh-oh. 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 
Ooh. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Let's let's take a look at this. Okay, this is this is not good. <laughs> this is this is not good at all. Let's uh let's examine this closely. Luna allied, which we could have guessed. Luna has been a known allier. K and Clover betrayed. I'm not too surprised. Every time K and Clover are together, they usually betray. But we don't know if that's Clover's influence or if that's K's influence. Dio and Quirk betrayed against Alice, who allied. Interesting. Alice allying is odd, but it's not so far from the course, I guess. Uh, Dio most certainly pushed for the betray, I would bet. We allied, and then Sigma betrayed. Or, nope, Timmy OG betrayed. Fucking, I'm going to strangle the old man. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. We're all fucked. Sigma. Fi. Oh my god. I'm going to strangle you, Tenmi OG! What the fuck? Uh, Sorry. You little piece of shit. What the hell? Why? Tenmi OG, why? I trusted you. I mean, we don't have a lot of trust in like, come on, or something. Look, I said I was sorry. <laughs> that doesn't stop that you stole our points. What the fuck? See? I told you. Oh my god, Fi, you do not get the lord this over us. Do not. A soft heart is the easiest to break. Do you understand what kind of game this is now? You understand that you are an asshole? <laughs> Ah, <sighs> being soft-hearted has its benefits, okay? I mean, look at Luna. Well, I guess not look at Luna in this round, but other rounds, Luna has fared much better. Just tell me one thing, Tamioji. Why'd you do it? Are you serious? Someone's dead, and not just dead, murdered. I got no reason to think that murderer wasn't one of you. Only an idiot trusts someone he's never met when there's a killer on the loose. Uh, I guess that's a point. You are really shooken by this woman. What is your deal with her? You think I had a choice? Is it solidarity? Old woman see old man? Old man see old woman? Is that what it is? Right. I think that's enough for me. Are you gonna skive off? I'm old and I'm tired. Well, I felt that. So tired. Oh, buddy. Tamuji shuffled off, the same weight I'd seen him earlier, sitting heavy on his shoulders. It was only then that I noticed an angry voice nearby. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this ought to be good. What the hell is this? Hey, look, lady, I, I was going to choose ally, I swear to God. Oh, fuck off, Dio. Piece of lying shit. We both know you were gonna choose betray. But just as I'm about to do it, this little bastard runs in and hits the betray button. What? Oh, come on. Really gonna just try and play it dumb, huh? You're a manipulative little twerp, aren't you? The thing is, like, it'd be one thing if, like, Quirk had a track record. We don't know a lot about Quirk. But from what we've seen, this is so not it. Like, this is not true at all. And Dio is just as a manipulative shit as he's claiming Quirk is. So, I think you're the little twerp, aren't you? Quirk, is he telling the truth? Were, were you the one who chose Betray? No! No! I didn't do anything! I didn't have a chance to do anything before Mr. Dio pressed the button! I'm telling the truth! I promise! God, his voice is so grating. I'm so sorry. I love a lot of these voice actors, but God, Quirks is just so... I don't know what it is. I'm so sorry. I love Quirk as a character, but sometimes hearing his screaming voice, I'm just like, please stop. <laughs> sure, kid. Whatever. Dio, shut up! You are the worst person ever! <laughs> I hate you! With all of my being! The cute and innocent act isn't gonna work. Yeah, and what actor are you pulling? Fucking ringleader? Circus clown? 
What a fucking clown on you, bitch. No! Oh. I... I... Hmm. Fine. You just wait. Ooh. Alice turned on her heel and stormed off before Quirk could, um, could reply, leaving him alone with Dio. Man. This is all your fault, Quirk. Stop the gaslight. It's not cute on you. M my fault? Why are you blaming me? How could you do that, Mr. Dio? You're a jerk. I moved away silently to let them stare daggers at one another. It seemed that theirs wasn't the only team facing some friction, however. Oh no. We aren't trying to blame you. But, I mean, if you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? <sighs> but Luna's too much of a sweetheart for her to do that. She cares about all these people. She's always picked ally, but they don't know that. Forget it. I understand now. It was Aww. silly of me to trust you guys. Oh, Luna! I got a crow figure. I'm gonna turn it in a <laughs> in a chat brain for costume. Ooh, crow! Crow figurine! Hell yeah! The air in the room seemed to turn thick and sour, hanging over us like a brooding, angry cloud. It was grim omen. It was a grim omen of darker times to come. Zero, when does the next round start? All right. Well, we know how this goes, so we're just gonna skip through this. Yada yada yada. The games are closing. A hundred rounds. They learn the rules of the game. Everyone's gonna die. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Alas or Siggy. Or Fido. Or maybe Mooney. It could be any of us, because we have the lowest points. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> God, I love this voice actress so much. You can just tell that she had so much fun with this role. It's amazing. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Well... <laughs> I'm kidding. Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. Yeah, so there are consequences for your actions, bitch. I, I get it. Sigma, Phi, Alice, and I only have one BP. Yep. If any of us chose ally and got betrayed, our BP would drop below zero. What? What the hell? Oh, uh, here we go. This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Why didn't you tell it? Well, I guess it was because they wanted to see what everyone would pick with that lack of information. But it's still a dick move on their part. Sorry. Oh, ha ha. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well. Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. They have a game share for that, you know that? I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. It's true. In this red, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took him over to go over everything, all the rules. <laughs> yeah, my colors changed. I'm gonna have the crow sit on my shoulder for the costume. <gasps> oh my god! Crow father! Hell yeah! My colors changed. It's magenta now. Mine's magenta, too. Oh, we're paired up with Clover. Oh, interesting. Me, too. And we could go with Quark. That's even more interesting. Hey, wait. It wasn't just the color that changed. I'm a solo now. <laughs> Looks like Clover and I are still pairs, though. I'm a yellow pair now. I am yellow as well. But it hey, seems I'm crew? still a pair. Uh, Crowfather, chat, and brain. I'm doing chat, basically. <laughs> Hell yeah. Chat here is just like an amalgam of eyes, I want to think. <laughs> just a bunch of eyeballs. No mouth, just psychic screaming. Then who's the yellow solo? Oh, uh, yes. Who could we be paired up with? Me. Oh, God. I want to be paired up with anyone but him. Please, God. I Please, no. <laughs> Still a solo. Oh, we can pair up with Temiochi again. Looks like I'm cyan. I'm a cyan pair. 
Oh, Luna and Fire paired up together. Aren't you one too? Yeah. Says pear and the color cyan. I only hear his voice and I agree. <laughs> when did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All the rules. Have a nice tragedy. They all split off. We figure out what the hell's going on. Car bomb. Getting kidnapped. Sitting there in loathing. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in my misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find a way out. So I shook my head, stood up straight, and headed off. Ooh, um, let's go to the top. Let's go to the lounge. Bong, 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 bong. Who's in here? Oh, <sighs> Sigma. God. Hi, Kay. Hi, Dio. <laughs> oh, you self-righteous bitch. Shut up, Dio. Another dude. This place is turning into a real sausage fest. You would like that, wouldn't you, Dio? Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so curious about what Kay looks like under there. Maybe he's extremely hot. And you know what? I like that fantasy for me. <laughs> I know Kagami would love to hear that too. What are you telling me? What are you telling me for? Oh yeah. You were one of the first people in here, weren't you? Yeah, so? Well, did you notice anything? No. Great. You're fucking useless, as usual. Although I guess I did notice that the sofa's pretty comfortable. Why, did you sit your pretty ass there? Stupid bitch. Uh, okay, how about something more useful? I'd say that the comfort level of a sofa is pretty useful. Yeah, I'm gonna chain you to it. Leave you either die, starve you. <laughs> God, I know I'm being such an ass, but I just, I, after last route, I just want to punch him in the face. Right. Dio, what's this? <laughs> that? What, you can't tell? It's a dirty magazine. God, dirty magazines have really changed over the years. Oh, come on. It's about astronomy. Can you even read? Can you even see? Just look at those rings on Saturn. Don't they excite you? <laughs> oh my god. I want to fucking kill him. <laughs> Different strokes, I guess. Yeah, today we learned Dio has the hots for planets. Interesting. It appears to be a special dedicated to a lunar eclipse. Ah, yes, this again. The cover says the eclipse can be observed on December 31st, 2028. Not so that far off. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it did say something like that. Mm hmm. December 31st, huh? That's six days from now, right? Six days, huh? You mean today is December 25th? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think it is. Depends on how long I was out after they hit me with the gas, I suppose. Hey, Kay. Your team went to the crew quarters, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Did you find anything? Anything? Nothing of interest. You better not be hiding something. There really wasn't anything helpful. At least, nothing that could help us escape. No, there was nothing like that. There was a book about a cat, though. Oh, no. Oh, my God, here we go. A cat? What, so now Zero Senior is a crazy cat lady? Honestly, I could see that for him, yeah. And just what the hell are we supposed to do with that tidbit? Well, it's more useful than how comfortable the sofa is. Hey, the sofa's comfort level is very useful. Oh, my God. Um. What? I think you must have misunderstood me. This book isn't for, uh, cat ladies. It's about Schrodinger's cat. Mm. Uh, I don't really give a shit about the breed, genius. 
God, Dio, you have less brain cells than Sigma. Anyway, I'm a dog person, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, you have the face of a dog person. No, it's not an issue of breed. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a story about poor Mr. Schrodinger and his beloved cat, right? Don't tell me. The cat dies at the end. <laughs> who fucking who? Fine, never mind. Oh, okay. I'm sorry that Dio's being a little fucking shithead right now. I care about Schringer, Schrodinger's cat. Just as I was about to open my mouth and tell Kay that I cared about what I found, even if Dio and um, even if Dio didn't, Luna and Fi appeared. Oh shit! Hey y'all! Oh hello, Sigma. <gasps> Fi. So this is where you were. Did any of you find anything? Nope, we got squat. I bought a mini knitted octopus and it's just adorable. <gasps> oh my god, hell yeah! Tiny octopus! I was at a flea market the other day and I bought a tiny mushroom for a friend. A tiny knitted mushroom for a friend and I'm so excited to give it to them. That's sorry, that just reminded me of that. What are you gonna name the octopus? Nope, we got squat. You were looking though, right? Yeah, before we got fucking sidetracked by Mr. Co couch comfortability over here. Hey, answer me. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we weren't wasting time. I was just asking them what they and? found. Nothing. Useless. Oh, shut up. I don't know what to name it. Name it Sigma. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Sigma? You were one of the people searching the infirmary, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I'd take too long to explain. Oh, it did take too long to explain. Just have a look at this. I dug the paper out of my pocket and handed it to Luna. It looks like a piece of newspaper. Yeah, we found it in the infirmary safe. The headline says, Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What? Uh-huh. What is Radical 6? That is the question, isn't it? Uh, just read the article. Okay. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. That's a lot of fucking people. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Cold silence fell over the room. For several long minutes, no one spoke. It was Kay who finally broke the spell. Is there a chance? I mean, I certainly hope it isn't the case, but could it be that this facility is, in fact, one of the quarantine locations that Clipping mentions? That's been brought up a few times, and it's not a far reach to think that. I don't know, though. I mean, there is an infirmary here. But there's also stuff like the robotics lab. The golem bay, I mean. So it's odd. Then you're saying we're all infected with this Radical 6 virus? That is something that I have to keep remembering. That's also an option that we have. We don't really know what the, like, outward effects of Radical 6 are. Besides, maybe... Oh, no, we know one. Which is wanting to commit sewer slide. Uh, Sudoku. And we've seen that with both uh, Alice and Quark. But other than that, we don't know what other effects of Radical Six there are. At least no confirmed ones, that's for sure. I don't know. It doesn't really fit. I mean, none of us have shown any kind of symptoms, right? Well, I do feel a little strange. I've lost my balance a few times. Uh, my body feels kind of weird too, now you mention it. That's probably just because you were asleep for so long. Oh yeah, the anesthetic. Are you suggesting that our incarceration here has nothing to do with this article? Then why have the article in the safe? I doubt that. Yeah, it just doesn't add up. The order's backwards. Order's backwards? Maybe if we'd been thrown in here after this virus started spreading. But right now it looks like we were abducted before this thing turned into a pandemic. Hmm. How's that make any kind of sense? Besides, you found that article in the safe, right? 
That means Zero Senior put it there specifically so we could find it and read it. Why would Zero do something like that? I think Dio's hinting at manipulation, but I don't know if that's going to be the right answer. So that we'd think this place is a quarantine facility. So that we'd think what Zero wants us to think. How do you mean? This thing is just a... a prop. Something to set the scene. Mm. Zero's trying to freak us out. That article is a fake. <sighs> I don't know. Don't know if that's true or not. I mean, he makes a good point, but he's also Dio. And he's a known asshole, so... You have points against you. You've got a point. If it was real, then why cut it out? Just leave a newspaper with the article circled in red pen or right? something. <laughs> that lazy son of a bitch. Probably too much of a pain in the ass to fake a whole paper. Hmm. What does the other side look like? The other side? Oh, uh, hold on. It's black. See? There you go. Why would a newspaper just be black on one side? Well, perhaps there was an ad there. An ad? Some sort of full-page ad with a black background. Something we could think of, yeah. No. I'd bet your money an article like this was from a front-page news. It's too big of a story. And I really don't think that they put a full pa um, full page ads on the back of the front page. Exactly. Even I know that, and I can count the number of times I've read a paper on one hand. If Zero Senior really wanted to trick us, why not go all out? Only an idiot would fall for this. It's pathetic. Then maybe it's not a trick, Dio. It'd be one thing, you're right. It would be one thing if he put like the full paper there, but having the clipping here, it either speaks for laziness, which we've known that he is not something willing to do, or this is dead ass serious and something that they had to take themselves. I'm kind of leaning towards the latter. Like there's a argument for laziness, but also, I mean, looks around at the giant facility made for this game. If he was going to be lazy about this one aspect, that's kind of weird. Am I right or what? Eh. I suppose you do have a point. No, you're still an asshole. I don't agree with you. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Besides, I don't even remember hearing about any news or anything about a pandemic. If it was really killing hundreds of thousands of people, I'm pretty sure that it would have been on the news or something. You're right. We would have heard about it. Hmm. The pondering. All right, let's have a look around. See if we can find anything else. Good idea. I'll be off then. Uh, what about you guys? The consensus seemed to be that they intended to remain. Okay. See you all later. With a wave, I made my way to the exit. Where's next? Uh, the place we didn't go to this time, the crew quarters. Up, up, up. To the quarters we go. Crew quarters. Whoa. Oh, Sigma. Ah, it's you two. Well? I know when I get home I should work on sewing feathers, but I really want to make uh, Brian look robotic. Do at the same time, but also those feathers are going to take a long ass time, so if you're not working on them. Have you found anything? No. Well, no. Uh, what about you? Nothing. Nothing. I looked through three or four of the rooms in here. No secret passages so far. I don't think we're going to find any. No, this doesn't seem like the game that would have that. Do you really think Zero Senior is that stupid? You're probably right. Yeah. A secret passageway would be a pretty serious oversight. I have a lot of choice adjectives for Zero, but I admit stupid isn't one of them. Which makes me wonder why, like, the newspaper article, they think it's a lie. Like, this is a guy who has, like, fully automated this game and, like, put so many traps and puzzles in it. And 
having this article there to be like a fake out, I don't know. It just seems odd. It's like out of everything that could be a fake out, that's what you choose? Okay. Right? Hey, uh, there's been something I've been wondering about. What? Oh, uh, are they gonna interrogate them? Uh, so, what exactly is the deal with the two of you? What do you mean? Well, you obviously know each other pretty well. Yeah, we do. We're half sisters. All right. Is that where we're going with? Sure. Any chance you'd buy that one? <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry. Then what do you think we are? I didn't feel like playing games. What's headquarters supposed to mean? What? I heard you two talking in the infirmary. You said something about getting in touch with headquarters. Ooh, caught them in the trap. Can't lie your way out of that one, can you? Alice, what should we do? Alice laid her hands on her hips inside. Clover and I are co-workers. Eh, that's a better way to put it. Okay, where do you co-work? We can't tell you that. Why not? Is it some sort of secret government project that you can't talk about? You can tell yourself that if it makes you feel better. Sure, let's go with it. Does it have to do something with Zero? Well, why would you think that? Uh, because you seem to know more about Zero than you're letting on, Clover. Uh, the way you were talking in the infirmary, there's even a Zero. Sure, it sure sounds like you've heard of Zero before to me. And Alice, from what you two were saying, I bet you know something about Zero too. Ooh, bombshells are dropping, bitch! Come on, you can't hide it forever. Just tell me what's going on here. Well... This isn't the first time something like this has happened. No, it isn't. Clover. It's okay. I think we can tell him a little. What do you mean this isn't the first time? <gasps> We're getting Clover lore! I mean, Clover lore that we already know, but like... Clover lore that's new to Sigma! <gasps> About a year ago... Nine people were kidnapped and forced to play a game. The rules were different. But it was called the Nonary Game, too. Yeah, Clover Lore, Page Town. Oh, wait. I guess only seven of them were really kidnapped. I mean, two of them were actually the ones behind it. No, I, I guess if I count the other two, then there were nine. Anyway, the people behind that Nonary Game also called themselves Zero. Whoa, hold on there, Clover. Can you give me more details? Besides, how do you even know about this in the first place? Because I was part of it. Yeah. I was one of the people who got kidnapped. This is her now third time having to deal with this shit. W what? You mean this is your second Nonary game? No, it's my third. Third? The same thing happened ten years ago. W wait, wait, wait. What are you... Then that means you have to have something to do with this. I... I guess you could say that. Uh, what do you mean you guess? Uh, how could you not? Whoever keeps doing these nonary games must have to decide they wanted you to play a third one. She can't catch a break. She really can't. She really cannot catch a fucking break. No, I... I don't think so. Why not? Because the game was run by a different person both times. Yeah, it was just coincidence, and now this is time something's changed. And the guy behind the first nonary game has already been arrested. Uh, what about the second one? Uh, you said there were two people for that one. They... they're still on the run, but... Uh, then it has to be them. No. Yeah, uh, spoilers for 999 in like five seconds. Uh... Aoi and Akane, they ran after the first game. That's right. I forgot about that. They're still out there, and we don't know exactly what the fuck has happened to them. 
I really don't think so. Uh, why? Because they already did what they were trying to do. Yeah. There's no way they'd have another nonary game. It would make no sense for them. Like, what purpose would they have to do it? The reason why they did it in the first place was to save Akane. And they've already succeeded in that goal. Unless something, something else happened. Unless fucking Aoi has some new fucking deal going on with. But I doubt that's what's happening. Uh, okay. Well, that makes no sense. Uh, let me see if I have this straight. The Nonary game has already been done twice, by different people and for different reasons. Yes. Well, I can't be totally sure, but I think so. Then why is whoever doing this calling it the Nonary game? Is it just a coincidence that they're calling it the, um, calling themselves Zero? They know somehow. So they either have had to have had an attachment to the first Nonary game or the second Nonary game to have been able to make Basically, a third one. I don't know. Uh, that's not good enough. You've got to think. Clover, you're the key to figuring all of this out. But you've got to think. But I... I don't know. Yeah, this is a lot of trauma for Clover. Sigma, back off. Do they also have the smarts to even make Junior's program? Yeah. Well, no, Akane was pretty smart. Like... Akane was a fucking boss. Owie! We're gonna talk about Owie. Oh. What? What you got, Clover? The gas mask. Oh. The gas mask? Oh, yeah. I saw it too. But what about it? Well, somebody in a gas mask showed up and used that white smoke stuff on me. That's what happened a year ago. And that's what happened on the 22nd. Someone with a gas mask attacked Alice and me while we were... W whoa Then it's gotta be the same person. I turned on visuals to see what's happening. Yeah, chatting with Clover about the last two games. Or I guess the last game and then her first game as well. But I don't know why they do that. Yeah, if Akane... And Aoi are in this shit again. What purpose do they have this time? Last time it was to save Akane. Now they're just doing it for fun? Question mark? Does it have to do with Radical 6? Is that what's going on? Something with that? Is it... I don't know. Like, Radical 6 is our only, like, big event that we have. But how would they know about it? Why would they know about it? What are they trying to do to stop it? I mean, they already did what they needed to do. And if it was them, then I don't know why all these other people are here. Maybe same person hired to be in the mask, but new person who's hiring? Maybe. Maybe, like, they brought Aoi back or Kane, and it's just, like, a new, like, a third person who is, like, needing them for some goal? It's not a bad thought. Except for me and Alice. None of you guys have anything to do with what happened a year ago. No. Right? As far as we know, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I know I didn't have anything to do with it. Are you sure you've never met any of the other people here? Yeah, I'm sure. I know I've never met Luna, or Dio, or Tenmyoji, or Quark, or Fi. But we really can't say anything about Kay, can we? But Kay... Right. There's no way to know who he is under that armor. And if his memory loss is real, he wouldn't know even if he had met any of us. Yeah. Unless we can get that mask off him, I can't say for sure if I've met him before or not. Hmm. No. K is a bit of a tricky puzzle, isn't he? Okay, keep going. What happened with the first and second nonary games? Maybe they can tell us something. What if it's seven memory problems the same? Ooh, that's not a bad thought. His attitude is very different from seven, but it could be seven putting on an act. Um. Before she could respond, Alice spoke up. Sorry, but I think that's all you're going to get. What? We don't Why? have any proof that you're not Zero Senior. 
Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. If you are, then she'd be telling our enemy all our secrets. I can't let that happen. Are you an idiot? For one, I am not zero. Second, even if I was, I would already know everything you're going to refu you're refusing to tell me. There's no reason for you to do this. It's... I mean, Sigma, you have a point, but also Alice has a point as well. Like, we really... She really can't trust anyone. I wouldn't say that. Maybe there's something we know that Zero Senior doesn't. Hmm. And that would be... Are you deaf? <laughs> I said we're not telling you. Damn. Let's go, Clover. There's one more room we haven't visited. Oh, okay. Coming. Hey, hold on a minute. Goodbye. Fuck. The only word that appropriately described how they left the room would be stalked. Shit. I could have followed them, sure, but it was clear that I wasn't getting any more information out of Alice or Clover. Damn it. I kicked one of the locked doors angrily, but it only rattled back at me. There wasn't anything more I could do. It was time to move on to a different room. Where did I want to go? There was only one place left to go. Infirmary! Alright, who have we not seen? Uh, Quark and Temioji, and I think that's it, actually. Sigma. Hi, Sigma! Er, nope. Hi, Timmy Oldie. What do you want? We want a chat. What? I just came by to check up on you. Oh. I thought maybe you were here to kill me. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because I betrayed you in the last AB game. I mean, yeah, that fucking hurts, but I guess it's part of the game. I'm the reason you and Fire down to 1BP. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we should kill you. Pulls out the scalpel. Yeah, but that's hardly reason to kill you. Maybe. It was clear that that it was clear that conversation wasn't going anywhere. I shut my mouth and looked around the room. Work, work, work. Hello. Oh, and the old woman. So it's just you here? On this side of the divider, yeah. This side? Quark's over there, having a look around. Ah. Uh, and there's. You're really gonna make me say it? Yeah, her. Oh, the lady who was murdered, you mean. Ah. <laughs> I bit my tongue. Oh no! Hey, Chad, I'm so sorry for you. Drink water. Drink so much water, it'll help the tongue. Yeah, you've been acting kind of weird since we found her. Why is that? A what, isn't that normal? We found a dead body. Who the hell doesn't get a little freaked out? You're freaked out in the way that makes me think you know her. It's fine now, but it oh, it's fine now, but it really hurt. It really hurt at first. Yeah. Please be careful, Page Town. Tongue bites are not fun. Uh, what ain't normal is all of you just running around like nothing happened. Hell, some of you probably don't even remember she's in here. Oh, buddy. That's just because we've got a lot of other stuff to think about. Uh, can you blame them for being a little single-minded? They're trying to escape from a game that's just made it clear that it has no problems killing them. Oh, just trying to survive, huh? Got a high pain tolerance. That's probably where the pain's gone really fast. Lucky. I wish I had a high pain tolerance. <laughs> yeah. Then don't you think we ought to figure out who killed her first? What does that have to do with anything? You don't think much, do you? No, this is Sigma we're talking about. He has... One brain cell, and it's the size of a, pe uh, of a peanut. I'll bet you a pound of neodymium. The bastard who grabbed us is the same bastard who killed her. I'm sorry, what is neodymium? What? Want to hear a story of the parents about your high pain tolerance? Absolutely, yeah. Who else could it be? Uh, I guess you're right, but also, what the fuck is neodymium? If Zero is one of us... Then you're saying one of us murdered the old lady? I think that's exactly what Temioji is thinking. You saw it too, right? The, 
person in the gas mask? Yeah. We know that's a fucking lie. We know that's a lie because he came here willingly and complicitly. Did you notice anything? Uh, not really. The gas made pretty short work of me. Yeah. Me and Quark. Fucking asshole. What? You and Quark were, gra you and Quark were grabbed together? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we were. God. You fucking suck at lying. You suck so much at lying, Timmy Oldie. Is he your grandson? So what if he is? Why do you want to know? That doesn't have anything to do with what's going on here. Bitch, we're just curious. Uh, but what if it does? I mean, it'll shed some light on something else. I'm pretty sure it won't. Why is that? Quark's got nothing to do with this. So it's got something to do with you, then. <sighs> I mean, he's not wrong. What is it, goddammit? What do you want? Information. <laughs> I was a kid. I was play playing on the playground a couple monk bars. I think they said, I slipped, hit my tongue, and bit a hole into your tongue. Oh my god. And wanted to know what I was crying. I want to know what I was crying over. Blood on my new white shirt. Not from the pain, but blood being on my shirt. Oh. <laughs> I mean, oof to the shirt, but like, out of all the things to be crying about, I don't think the shirt's the biggest problem in that situation. Why don't you just leave me alone? Fine, shit, damn. Because you're suspicious. Wait, what? There's nothing suspicious about me. Well, all right, tell me this then. When and where does Zero Junior abduct you? Oh, nope, Zero Senior, not Junior. Mm. Yeah, forgive me if I don't feel like spilling my guts to a guy who probably hates him right now. Uh-huh. All right, fine. I'll just ask Quirk. Hey, Quark! Hey, stop it. Quark! Don't tell him a damn thing! <laughs> Whoa, you're getting more suspicious by the... I stared towards the mortician as I spoke, with the intention of finding Quark. I found him as I ran out of the divider, but... <gasps> Quark! What? Move! Uh-oh. 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 What the fuck? With a yell, he shoved me away and ran to the boy's side. Quark, what's wrong? Say something. Kamioji shook the boy's body. Is he breathing? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. So. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. He's breathing. Oh, thank God, but... Then he just passed out? I don't know. Look, that doesn't matter. Just... Go find that girl, uh, Luna. She said she was a doctor, didn't she? Quark needs a doctor. Uh, right. Hang on. I'll be right back. She was probably still in the lounge. I spun around and ran off. The whole process only took a few minutes. The machine scanned Quart's body, and within seconds, his results lit up on the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand ac scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an... infection. A viral infection. Radical six. Oh no. I felt my stomach lurch. Don't tell me. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. All right. Well, that's the third one in a row in which he's been known to be infected. That's not good. By then, everyone had pushed their way into the infirmary and gathered around Quark's bed. Kate back into Alice and Clover. Have you heard of this virus? Radical Six, I mean. Yeah, they have. I told them about it before we went to the lounge. What? What? No. No, that can't be right. A quark can't be... Can't be? There must be something we can do. How can we cure him? 
Well, the Atom says that there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Was there none in the infirmary? No. Sigma, Tenmyoji, and I looked everywhere. We didn't find anything. We didn't find anything like that in the crew quarters either. No luck in the lounge. Oh, God. Oh, buddy. Then he's... He's going to... Oh, God, no. Oh, Tenmyoji. Tenmyoji's voice broke as he spoke. With a tortured sigh, he collapsed to his knees. Quark? <gasps> oh, fuck. Quark! Get the scalpel, get the scalpel, get the scalpel, get the scalpel! Oh, thank God. You're awake. Get the scalpel, get the scalpel, get the scalpel! Get away from me! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Fuck. Quark, what are you... <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Don't do it. Have to what? Oh, don't do it. What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to escape. But how? Like this. Grab it, 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 grab it. Quark's hand moved like lightning. He'd grabbed the hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight towards his heart. Stop! God, this scene is so hard to watch. <laughs> Pretty tough for a kid. Hey, guys. I could use a hand here. Yeah. Dio, grab the fucking child. Right. On it. Actually, Dio, just stand there like a fucking idiot. Don't do anything. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Temioji! What the hell are you doing? Get over here. Temioji, can you even hear me? Oh, right. Focus. Uh, fucking focus, Temioji. Damn you, bastards! Why won't you let me go? I have to get out of this body. You've got to stop. They can't lock away the soul. Once my body's gone, my soul can escape. Please. You have to let me go. Let me go. I'm trapped here. Let me die. Oh my I god. I have to die. Kill me. Somebody. Anybody. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Oh my god. Ah! Jesus, this kid has lost it. Hey, uh, someone get that scalpel away from him. Right. I got it. Good job, Clover. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and wreathe as he was possessed. Just imagine they listen to your grandchild saying that. It is hard for me to hear it. Imagine Timmy OG. God, that has got to be heartbreaking and terrifying. What are we going to do? We've got to calm him down somehow. Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? There's Soparil Beta. <laughs> Soparil? That's the anesthetic. The one that's in our bracelets. That'll work. Good, perfect. Hit him with some of that. Well, what? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. <sighs> but... Just hurry up and do it. Come on, Luna. Okay, let me just... Come on, Luna. Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! <sighs> Oof, buddy. Oh my god, he fucking killed him. Okay. <sighs> Respiration blood pressure, brain waves. Everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. 
All right, I guess we're good for now. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? I imagine being a voice actor and being told, okay, scream that you want to die and someone wants to kill you. <laughs> I guess those are some pretty hard notes to get, wouldn't it? You shouldn't wake up for a few hours. All right, great. We have a few hours to find out what the fuck to do for a cure. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah, that's some powerful strength right there. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, um, well... How much do you know about this Radical Six? <laughs> oh. Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article Sigma showed me. You'd better not be lying. Oh, Dio, shut up. Just shut up. Just stuff you into a corner. Sit there. Time out for you. Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses that do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Mm-hmm. Yes. At least, I think so. <laughs> so what kind of virus is Radical Six? I pulled the newspaper article out of my pocket and looked at it again. Everyone else crowded it. Look at this last line. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Are you saying this is some kind of quarantine zone? I already explained this. That's not possible. Why not? Ah, here we go again. Do you ever through what he told the rest of us in the lounge? Then... You're saying the newspaper article was faked? But that doesn't make any sense either. But the virus is clearly real. That, yes. That Adam machine told us he was infected with Radical 6. Dio, I swear to God. So, do you know how that thing works? I bet there's a thousand ways to hack it. Dio, shut up. Zero Senior probably just programmed it so that it would spit out whatever he wanted. Besides, there was something Sigma mentioned. Have any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well, no, but... I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bioweapon. Hmm. What? What did you say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Alice, what the hell? As much Explain. as I'd love to. I'm sorry. Time's up. Time? Hit the buttons on your bracelet. Shit. Five minutes. Then we only have five minutes until the chromatic doors open downstairs. Exactly. Ah, fuck. Shit, all right. I'm sorry, but I'd really need more than five minutes to explain this. I'm gonna hold you to that offer. Huh? As if you tell us even that there was time, right? Or would I? Who knows? <laughs> Fine. Fine. We'll deal with this later. Right now, we need to get to the elevator and head down to floor B. What are we going to do about Quark? Drag him. I'll carry him. All right. Are you sure? I can't just leave the boy here. Besides, if we don't have Quark's bracelet, there'll be one team who can't open their secondary door. If that happens... They'll get penalized. Exactly. Yeah. Very well, then. I will carry Quark. I will be able to move much faster than Ten Mioji. Huh. You make a good point. Yeah, he usually does. Look, are you sure about this? Can I trust you? You have nothing to worry about. Yeah! Fine, just be careful. We trust Kay in this household. Of course. All right, let's go. We're running out of time, people. Move! Move it, move it! Go, 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 go. At Fi's command, we all began to run. The door opened, and we split out into the warehouse.
we go. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic. They're open. All right. We need to hurry. For some reason, I hear a bit of Generation Lost song. I can't figure out which one. <laughs> time to skip through the song to figure it out. Yeah, just like last time. Who's going to go in which door? All right, let's see what the choices are. Uh, what are our options? We're almost out of time. Pay attention. We've only got time to do this once. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options laid out for us for the following. Option A. Clover and I, Magenta, paired up with Temioji to go through the blue door. Uh, Luna and Phi pair up with Dio. K and Alice pair up with Quark. Option B. Clover and I paired up with Dio to go through the red door. I'll be honest with you, I don't want to do that because I fucking hate Dio. Luna and Phi, Cyan, paired up with Quark to go through the blue door. And Alice and K paired up with Temioji to go through the green door. Option C. Clover and I paired up with Quark to go through the green door. Luna and Phi paired up with Temioji to go through the red door. Alice and K go through the yellow door. Nope, go through the blue door with Dio. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. So how do we want to pair up? I think the people who have the greatest disadvantage should get to choose. What do you mean? The people who have one BP. Yeah, this is the tactic she used last time. So you, Phi, Luna, and Sigma? Sounds fair enough to me. Yes, exactly. All right, then. Who do you want to go with, Alice? Anyone but Dio. <laughs> fair shit, fair shit. I'd rather die than get paired up with that prick. Just Agreed. Anyone but him. Cheers to that. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of hate. What did you expect? You betrayed me. Everyone agrees with that. Hey, I told you already. That was core. I don't believe you. Thank you, Alice. At least you said it. I had a feeling it was one, but I wanted to much. It's the song The Hero. I'll have to listen to it afterwards. What? You're telling me you trust him more than me? Yes. He's also unconscious, so he can't do shit. And also, you're a known prick. Anybody other than Dio could mean Quark, you know. You willing to pair up with him? He's asleep. I don't really think I need to worry about him voting. Yeah. I glanced over at Quark. He looked tiny, cradled in Kay's arms, fast asleep. If I didn't know any better, I'd think he was just a kid who tired himself out from playing too hard. All right, bye. Who do you want to go with? Anyone other than Tenmyoji is fine. My reasoning is the same as Alice's. He betrayed me last time. Well, I guess that's fair. If we want to honor Alice and Phi's requests, then we can go with any option besides C. Yeah. So, A or B? Oh, uh, hold on. We've got two other people with one BP. How about you, Luna? I... I don't really have a preference. Clover and Kay did betray me last time, but... They're both pairs now, though. And since you're a pair, too, there's no way that you'd end up going through the same door as them. Yeah. All right, then, Sigma. All right. And we're gonna... What about you? That's we're gonna see, because we're gonna have to go through the door next time. I know that's a weird way to, like, end it off, but I am almost 20 minutes over time now. And we're about to have to make another choice and I'm gonna save that for next stream. <laughs> All the Gen Law songs are amazing. Forlorn Gaze Into Yesterday. I love the random off nose parts in the overall vibe. I have to listen to these, I actually haven't heard them. All right. So. Music on. Let's turn it up just a bit. Alrighty. Ray Nathan hand over Synthonic Orchestra. Ooh, well, I have to check that out. Alrighty, thank you all so much for joining me as usual. Uh, thank you, Page Town. Thank you, Gagami. Thank you, Azura the Wise. Thank you, um, Black Dragon. 
Uh, thank you all so much for coming and joining me and hanging out with me. And anyone else who didn't chat, I'm glad you came to stop by. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday uh, here on Twitch at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If I do make changes to the time, uh, I will let y'all know on my community page on YouTube of the same name, Nile Lights, Nil Lights, however you want to fucking pronounce it. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye! Mwah!